Hey everyone, this is Andy, my pronouns are they, them, and welcome to my channel. This is floss tube number three, I think it's three. Um, I got a lot to show you today. Uh, I worked on a lot of stuff last week, uh, and I have a lot of treasures to show you. I kind of, it's a thing. Um, thank you to everyone who has subscribed and all the comments. You all are wonderful and I just appreciate every single one of you. Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I started this channel. So it's, it's been, it's been a treat and I, I'm so thankful for every single one of you. Um, and I hope you enjoy my journey. So I want to start off with some other floss tubers I've been watching. Um, <clears throat> first off is Nerdy, which I will uh, tag everyone in the description below. So no worries. I don't put things up on the screen. I'm not that. It's a thing. Nerdy, witchy, stitchy. Excuse me. That's wrong. I lied. Nerdy, stitchy, witchy. <laughs> Off to a great start. Um, is a fellow uh, Goofy team member, I found out, from uh, the Fandom Stitching Central. And uh, love her channel, love her stuff. Um, I believe she's in the Netherlands, I think she said. Anyway, go check her out. Lovely, 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 lovely stuff. Um, the next one is Wicked Cat Stitch, uh, fellow witchy goth, loves skulls, loves all the, all the things I love. Um, I love her patterns. I love her, uh, just vibes, her channel. Go check her out. Whisker City Stitcher. Um, <laughs> I love watching her channel. She owns an estate sale company, so it's a mix of floss tube, plus she'll show hauls and things from uh, her thrift stores, at, like thrift store finds and estate sale finds, um, a lot of crafting stuff. Like she has so many beads and Krynik. I just want to, I just want to go through the stash that she's bought. I, it's so wonderful into Halloween, um, again, like kind of the witchy vibe, uh, Halloween vibe, I love it, go check her out, she's so fun to watch, um, and then Crafting Gaming Jamie, Crafting Gaming Jamie, that's kind of hard to say, um, again, witchy vibes, and let me, let me just, um, witchy, like, gamey, Obviously, it's in her name, the gaming, um, which I'm not in a big gamer, but I love her whips. She's currently working on um, Tonight We Ride, and she has the Holiday Cottage, Holiday Frosted Pumpkin Cottage from Witchy Stitcher. Um, a lot of full coverage pieces. She actually has, um, I have not, she has started it. I have not started it yet, but I'm going to talk about this later, um, because Dar, my husband, um, I couldn't decide, I wanted to start another full coverage and I couldn't decide what cut full coverage to start. So he, um, he picked this one, and this is Crafting Gaming Jamie has this started. This is um, Cozy Winter Book Nook, I think it's called, by Rose Khan, chartered by Pain Free Crafts. Um, so I will be starting this probably, probably later today. Um, but I found through Crafting Gaming Jamie which is on my list to start. 
if you, if you um, like Good Omens or have watched Good Omens, you, you will understand this. If you haven't, you won't understand this. But this is called The Ineffable Husband. I will get the, the artist and whatnot in a second here. Just, just look at this. Just take a moment to take this all in. This is so gorgeous, and I want to start this as well. Um, the Ineffable Husbands. Um, I bought this from Two Legs Make One Cross on Etsy, and the artwork is by, oh, I'm going to butcher this name, Fulmarin de Carme. De Carme? I don't know, but that will be, that. Yeah, I found that through Crafting Gaming, Jamie. So thank you, Jamie, um, <laughs> for that. Um, okay, so those are all the shout outs. Awesome, awesome floss tubers. Go check them out. I have more that I want to, um, that I'll shout out next time, but otherwise we'd be here forever. So I want to start off with a finish. This was a new start last week, which I showed you, <coughs> excuse me. And it's now a finish. This was my, um, this was my candle making project from this past week. Um, there we go. It finally focused. Uh, so I own a small candle business and while I make my candles, I, there's, again, there's, like I said before, there's a lot of waiting for wax to either heat up to the appropriate temperature or cool down to the appropriate temperature before I can pour it. So yeah, I usually have an easy, project either like, like this was a paper chart um from design works um or something that only has one color this only had two colors so nice and easy and i work on that while i am waiting for the wax so i call it my candle making project so this got a lot of work done i love this piece i'm going to i don't know how i'm going to finish it yet but i'm going to fully finish it and put it in our entranceway um it's, I have a Victorian Gothic theme for our entranceway, so this is going to go there. And you can't see in the, the camera's not going to pick it up, but um, all of the, the, thing, the swirls on the sides are all in Krynic, so it's a bit sparkly. And I love that. So that's my finish for the week. Um, okay, now we're going to go on to whips and everything I worked on, which was a lot. And, um, part of it is because of the Venom Stitching Central. I worked on a lot for different, different prompts. So. The first one I'm going to show you, these are in no particular order, they're just, they're just the way they are in my bin, my weekly work on bin. Um, I don't know why, I have such a hard time getting this out of the bag every single time and I have no idea why. This is Christmas Cupcake by the Cross Stitch Studio. Artwork is by, I don't know, artwork is by, did I write it on my... Anders Eisman is the artwork. Oh, and I do have I do have a before picture for you. Not not on the computer. I'm just going to show you off my phone because I'm not that fancy. I use a stream deck, so that's how I get the pictures up on here for you of what it will look like. But um, <clears throat> I don't edit after the fact. So, is it going to focus? Maybe. There we go, sort of. You can sort of see. That's what it was like before. Um, and this is what it looks like now. So, this was for one of the... Hold on. This is a lot of fabric. I need to wrangle this in. This was for, I think, one of the monthly prompts that was work on something with the scrumptious meal. And obviously, 
this is going to be scrumptious or would be scrumptious. And that's what it looks like now. So I worked a lot in down here. Ugh. And then right in here is where the, oh, let me put the picture back up, is where the, the top of the, the white and green will come in for the cupcake. Um, why can I not think of the word? Andy, come on. The paper, the cupcake paper. <laughs> you know what I mean? That will come in right at the bottom here. So, yeah. I did a center start on this one. This is a full coverage that's not full coverage. Uh, all the green background is not stitched. But there's still like 60 some thousand. Um, I'll give you the, the number in a second here once I fold this back up. Stitches. Uh, and the cupcake, ex excuse me, the cupcake itself is full coverage. So I do count this in my full coverage pieces. It is in my full coverage bin. Um, and this has, let me get you, again, I give actual stats and everything for my Kofi members. So I'll put my Kofi in the description below as well. That is one of the perks for either tier in Kofi. You get monthly stats, which is every single project I worked on, how many stitches I did it on every single project every day, then the totals for the week, and then the totals for the month. So that is a Kofi member um, perk. Um, but I give rough stats here. So I am at 2.4% out of 67,748 stitches. So that's that one. The next one I worked on was, again, for another prompt. I think it was a monthly prompt. And this was uh, for Stitch on something that reminds you of France. Let me get the cupcake off because the cupcake is no longer relevant. And this is Vintage Style by Artiste. I'm stitching this for our bathroom. The bathroom is like a vintage 70s slash vintage Victorian goth. It's a thing. It's a style and we're just rocking it. But this is going to go in the bathroom. So, again, I have a before picture for this one on my phone for you. All my flosses everywhere. This was a kit. I'm just using whatever came in the kit. So this was the before picture. So I just had a little bit of the bow done, the top of the bow, and then just had started the pinks for the hat box. I got floss sticking everywhere. And this is where we are now. So I did, I think the prompt was 400 stitches. So I did, I did a little bit more than that, but that's where we are now. So I got most of this ribbon done in here and then a lot of the hat box over here and kind of outlined it over here. I'm loving this. It's so fun to stitch. It's going to look so adorable. This is the outline already for the potion or the potion <laughs> potion bottle, the perfume bottle. <laughs> this is the outline in here. So it'll start here and go up. Um, <laughs> Y'all. So I'm loving this. I think the the colors are going to perfectly match our bathroom. It's like, a, again, it's a, yeah, I don't know. It's a, it's a pink and black and teal and gold gothic vintage 70s 
70s, 70s bathroom. And we're just, we're rocking it. It's going to go in there. The next thing I worked on is Midnight Fox. And this was for, I just think, just one of the regular weekly proms. I just did the bat big ass project the disney plus option okay this bag i cannot open i need to just get rid of this bag i think i do i have a before picture of this this is by give me a second i can't do multiple things at the same time i don't think i have a before picture for this this was my birthday new start my birthday start so i started it on march 11th Where's my Midnight Fox? Midnight. There we go. Midnight Fox. This is by Stitches So Beautiful. I lied. This is by Sunflower Stitches. Sunflower Stitches on Etsy. And there's a lot of there's a lot of black as you can see the top the top background I, I start top left corner this is one over one full cross on 25 count 25 count easy count Lugana so I did a lot of this this is that kind of tan mushroom on the top left of the arch so I worked and did most of this in here and then came up a little bit and did some of this black I love this piece it is so gorgeous there's a whole series of these I have the badger I think um but there's a whole series of these and I have a number this is sunflower stitches on Etsy can't wait to get to the fox love it love it and I am let me get some stats I am 0.8 percent of 126,000 stitches so it's a smaller full coverage uh for me it's a smaller full coverage um but not that far into it obviously I'm not even at one percent so there you go. And I think my goal for this one for this year because it was to get 15,000 stitches on it. So we'll see if I manage that. Okay, the next one. This was for another prompt. I think it was a weekly prompt. It was stitch on something with a bird. So obviously, Round Robin had to come out. This is, y'all, I say this every time. I cannot get enough of this piece. Cannot get enough of this piece. I don't know what draws me to it. I just love, absolutely love it. This is Round Robin by Doreen Jones. I got it from the Contemporary Cross Stitch Collection magazine um, from December of 2021. I'm stitching it two over one. It on 18 count Rustica Ada with all the called for DMCs except I subbed DMC 14 for DMC 772 because um, I did not have it and didn't want to wait <laughs> uh, to continue stitching on it so that's that's what we did um, I don't think I have a, do I have a before? I don't think I have a before picture for this one either because I didn't think about doing that until like two days ago. So, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I'll try to be better with that. Um, this is where I am now. So I want this done this year. I want this done before Yule so I can put it up for Yule. So um, I did the back stitching in here. I filled in the rest of this uh, orange slice and then started on the bow over here. This 
this piece. <sighs> love it. Love it, love it, love it. I want this done for Yule. This is a must for this year before Yule. Absolute must. It is a mix of full cross and ten stitch. So I'm doing it as, you know, whatever it's it calls for in the pattern. Uh, I lost my bag. I lost my train of thought and I lost my bag. Um, so that is from the magazine. So I don't have stats on that. I percentage stats. I do count. So if you are a Kofi member and you get the monthly um, stitching updates, I do use like a counter and all my paper charts. You will see the number of stitches I stitched. But I don't have a percentage. The next one is Spellbound. This is was a new start this week. Where are you? There you are. This is by, um, let me see. Who's the artist? This is uh, charted by Thread Geeks. I need to write the artist down. I don't think I have the artist on my card. I don't. I will get that for you and put it in the if I remember. I will write it down so I have it for next time, but if I remember, I will put it in the description box below. <clears throat> what am I stitching this on? Did I even write that down? I'm stitching this two over one on 18 count Haunted Ada. And th this was a new start, tried it by Thread Geeks. If you go to Thread Geeks, which way does this go? I think it goes this way. <laughs> it's a new start, and I did a center start because it is not full coverage. It's, again, one of those full coverage that isn't full coverage. Um, so the background is not stitched, but the, the witch and the raven are, and all of that is full coverage. So I did a center start, and this is how far I got. I'm loving this. A lot of confetti. especially in the center where I started. Um, but there aren't that many colors. There's only three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. like 30 colors, maybe, maybe a little less. So there aren't too many colors, but there's enough that it's going to look absolutely stunning. And I love it on this fabric. This is, again, this is haunted, 18 count, two over one. This was not for a prompt. This is just something I, I had kitted and wanted to start something. So I am, I got to 0.7% of 41,889 stitches. So that is that one. Then next was stained <clears throat> stained glass crow by charted by uh, Sharova Designs Sharova Creations. Excuse me on Etsy. <clears throat> I do have a before picture of this. Um, and, and the, uh, I have named her Cruella. Cruella. Yeah. So if I ever just say Cruella, this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this was the before. And I am using this, come on, focus. You can kind of see. I'm using this for the yearly. Let me try to. I 
Let's see if it'll focus more. I'm using this for the yearly prompts. So you do, it's like the Disney villains and you uh, stitch 4,000 stitches to defeat a villain. Um, and then if you use the same project for each uh, villain, there we go. It finally decided to, that's how, that was the start point. If you use the same project for every villain, uh, you get extra points. And it means nothing, but they're fake internet points, so obviously I'm going to use the same project. So this is the project I have chosen for that. So I'm, I work on the weekly prompts first, and then the monthly, and then I work on the yearly. So... You know, let me take Cruella off, though, because this is where I am now. So I worked a lot, um, a lot down here. So I'm still working on the first 4,000. I think I got a 1,000-ish into this. So for the first villain, so I have, still have 3,000 left to go to defeat the first villain. I love this piece. Love it. I was going page by page and I don't normally stitch that way. That's not how I do full coverages. I usually just kind of cross country wherever I f freaking feel like. Um, and I don't know why I really did completed pages on this one. I think it was just because it was looking so beautiful and I wanted to see it. And how it would look completed. And then I got to this page and I just decided, you know, I'm done with this. I'm done with this page by page crap. Like, <laughs> I think that was the, oh goodness. Four, fifth page maybe across the top and I just decided no I'm done with this life I don't want to do this anymore so I went back I went and just switched to how I normally stitch full coverages and decided to come back down over here so and that's why it's a bit kind of everywhere but that's where I am with that and I am Cruella Cruella is, sorry, I got, I got distracted by notificate, text, notificate. Nobody ever texts me unless I'm trying to do something. That's probably how it goes for everyone. Cruella is at, it's loading. Cruella is at seven and a half percent complete of 360,000 stitches. So I love her. I love her, love her, love her. She is, like I said, she is going to be my, my yearly, yearly prompt to defeat the villains. I am not a Disney person. I don't like Disney. I never have liked Disney. I'm not putting down Disney. I know a lot of people love Disney. It's just not my thing. Um, so there's some villains. There's some villains. <laughs> I've never even heard of like the first one. I don't even know what it is. I don't even remember what it is. I've never even heard of the villain. Doesn't ring a bell. Some of them, you know, like the old school ones. You know, I know Maleficent. You know, I know the evil queen. Like the, the old, you know, but the first one, I couldn't even tell you the name. No idea. No clue. But that's going to be defeating the villains. Excuse me. The next one uh, was a uh, prompt. Excuse me a second. I muted because I had a cough. To stitch on something blue. Or stitch. I think it was either blue or red. Um, and this was blue. So this was a prompt 
Uh, this is one over one full cross on 28 count, easy count Lugana. This is Protector of Magic. Artwork is Elisa, by Lisa Parker. And it's charted by Hayde. I need to have some, I need to have a drink. Y'all, my bug. I love it. This is mother bug I use like every day for coffee. Um, and I went into my stance on Hade last time, so I'm not going to go over it in detail again. But long story short, I have decided to no longer support Hade. So any Hades you see that I'm stitching or will start are all charts I have already had and have purchased a while ago. Um, they are none of them are new or will be new purchases. So this was a new start. Um, and when did I start this? Recently. This was a new start on April 4th. Uh, and again, I had already purchased the chart two years ago. So it was to stitch on something blue and I'm up on the top left again, the sky. There we go. So there's, uh, it, you know, it's just the wisp of the clouds and stuff. I, I worked, I kind of just did this down here. I went, came down here and did this and then did over on this side. Um, came down here and then I filled in a little bit in here. So there you go. You can see the details a little bit better and the there are no blends in the threads, but how the, the colors blend together to create the wisp in the sky, the clouds. I love it. I love this piece. I've had this piece, like I said, I think I bought it about a year and a half ago, two years. Um, and I don't know why it took me this long to start, but it did. And I'm loving it. Where's my protector of magic? There we are. <clears throat> I am 0.6% of 302,500 stitches. So not even a percent in on that, but you know, you know how cross stitch is. I have a lot of full coverage pieces, y'all. Again, I've said this before, I'm going to die way before I get any of these things even. Yeah, we, we are going to think about that. It's fine. Okay, the next one was another new start. So, <laughs> um, I did use this for some of the prompts, but it was a new start and I did, I used it for just the BAP, uh, the big ass project Disney plus option. So it wasn't part of a theme or the, you know, the prompt, the prompt theme. It was just, I wanted to start this and it was the BAP and it counted and we're going to use this. I'm switching this one over one 25 count. Um, easy count Lugana. This is okay. This this is by this is by the Cross Stitch Studio. <clears throat> Artwork is by oh gosh Simonetta Zambelli. I hope I pronounced that right. And this is Crow Among Purple Flowers. So uh, um <clears throat> I am part of the Cross Stitch Studio Insiders. Um. And she had posted that she was charting this and was going to try to have it up last Friday. And then came out with it like two days early. And I bought it right away and started it right away. <laughs> so it's a new start this week. Uh, goodness. 
last week was a new start. Yeah, I think it, did I write down when? The 10th, whenever the 10th was. I don't know what day that was. Uh, again, top left start, full cross. All Everything I have is full cross unless it, unless it is charted to be 10 stitch. I don't like, I don't like 10 stitches. People do, and that's their jam. And if it works for you, great. That's awesome. But it's, it's just not my jam. And I know that that is also partly why, because it is not my jam, it, I'm never going to finish any of these. But again, it's the process. So top left corner. Oh, that's not the right picture. Okay. Oh, I got the, I, I got the picture for the mini one. I'm sorry. So there's like a crop version, which is this one, which is, I need to take that off. That's not what I, that's not what I'm stitching. I'm stitching the full sized one. Um, there's, there's a crop version, which is this, which is not what I'm doing. Then there is a full size version, which is what I'm doing uh, because obviously, and basically it extends more upward. So there's, there's above the, that line of blue, there's like purple sky. And I liked that better than the cropped one because it brings the purple from the flowers that you see on the bottom here to the top. So I will have to make sure I get the right picture. <laughs> For next time I show this. So I'm doing a top left start. This is the purples and blues in the sky that you can't see because I got the wrong picture. But you get the gist of what's happening. And I am something. I am... 0.4% of 252,000 stitches. Why can I not fold this right again? So that's that one. I love that piece. I don't know what to name that crow. Well, I, if anyone has a suggestion, I have, I have Crowella. I have a Croana, which you have not seen. And I have a Raisin the Raven. Um, so if you have any thoughts on what I should name that crow, please let me know because you'll, you'll be seeing it. You'll be seeing it a lot. Okay. This next one was a new start. It's variant of interest by Long Dog Samplers. I have had this piece forever. Well, not forever. I bought it when it came out. Was it like two years ago? Something like that. Um, I am stitching it two over one on 16 count black Ada. And I'm using a mix of, let me just hold them up against the black because to show you. I'm using um, Hyacinth. By Gentle Art Threads and um, DMC327. So, this is the Hyacinth. And then I'm using 327. Now, I know you can't really... Uh, it's not really going to show you. There we go. And purples is not going to show up true to color because it's purple. But I'm using the 327 for, you will see here in a second, for the animals and the hyacinth by General Arts for everything else. I love that. I could not put this down. Could not put this down. Absolutely love it. I'm making my own goth long dog sampler. And this is going in our entranceway again. Well, when it's done, it'll go into our entranceway uh, foyer for our Victorian goth. The theme is it's all purple and black. 
I just, I can't. And this is not doing it justice. It is not doing it justice. It's so beautiful, y'all. I, I can't. I did, I did start it, and then I did end up using it for a prompt. I think one of the prompts was something that you can't, that's captured you or you can't put down or some, something like that. It was, it was something like that. <clears throat> so <clears throat> that is, that is that one. That was a new start. And I don't know if I have, <clears throat> I have to get my, I talked about this before. It's a, some things are in, I'm at 1.72%. Of 47,030 stitches. Love that sampler. Love Long Dog. Y'all, if you haven't checked out Long Dog samplers, go. Go do it. Go do it. Nothing else to say. They have a lot of Quaker, uh, kind of more Quaker. They got monochrome. They got like modern with Quaker influences. They've got um, ones that aren't monochrome. They just got, go. There, there, there's sort of a sampler for everyone. I'm not a sampler person. There are more traditional looking samplers as well. Just, just go check them out. Go check them out. The next one I worked on was a Mushroom Tea Ghost by Raven Coven. Her name is Martha, and this was for a prompt. I don't remember what the prompt was. Was it a ghost or? I don't know. It was for a prompt. It doesn't really matter. This is where I am. Do I have a before picture of Martha? I don't. Okay, this is where I am with her. I'm stitching this on, I don't remember the, it's a 18 count, two over one, or maybe a 16 count, 16 count, two over one. I don't remember the name of the fabric, but it's, fr it's by um, a wicked stepmother on Etsy, and it's this beautiful like slightly mottled sage color so I pretty much have Martha all all complete and then I'm going to the the mushroom tea goes down there so I did a lot I got kind of all of that all over all over booty complete and then started on the the tea the teacup If you like goth stuff and kind of darker witchy stuff, go check out Raven Coven. I've got a number of other patterns. This is one. This is a cuter one, but they do have, they have a very, various styles. So I want to get Martha finished this year. This is Mushroom Tea Ghost, but again, she's called Martha. I like to name, I like to name my things. Because, you know, you work on them for a while, you get to know them. They need names. They need, they need, they need names. They need a personality. And where am I on Martha? Uh, Martha is, I think it's almost at 50%, not quite 50. I will tell you in a second here. Uh, yeah, 47.2%. So... Pretty much just the, the mushroom, the, just about halfway, just about halfway. And then the last thing I worked on, which I'm still working on, so it's in the cue snap, is Rosie Santa. This is <clears throat> by the Cross Stitch Studio. <clears throat> oh, it doesn't have a card. I need to make this, I need to, it doesn't have a card. Let me see, let me get it up for you so I can give you the information. Uh, 
Percy Santa by the Cross Stitch Studio, and the artwork is by Shabby Charm Art. <clears throat> and I am at 0.5%. I do have a before picture because I started this yesterday, so I had already decided, finally had decided by then to do before pictures. It's very, going to be very hard to see. I'm in the background. This is full coverage, so all the white you see is is stitched. I am stitching it, <clears throat> and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, so that's where I was. There you go. It's not completely white. It is, uh, there's 37, 56, 8, 18, 8, 19, 38, 60. You know, there's a bunch of light, light, light colors. And I am stitching this one over one on 20 count opalescent white Ada. And that's where I am right now. You can, you can see. So I did, it's in the Q-snap, so it's a bit harder for me to hold. I um, did down here, filled this in, did down here, and then came over here and kind of worked my way down because right here is where some of those leaves and flowers start. And this is, like I said, opalescent Ada. You can sort of see some of the sparklies. And it does not show up on camera, and it never will. But I'm stitching this on opalescent, like I said, one over one, because a little bit of the sparkle, and you can see it in person, a little bit of the sparkle comes through. So it's not distracting. <clears throat> which is why I'm doing the all the background because I didn't want it to be like the Santa and the frame and then sparkle. I wanted it all to be the same, just very light, almost imperceptible, but it is there. A little bit of sparkle. And I love it. It's going to look so good. I'm stitching this for the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, so I know there's been a lot of talk about the bathroom. Um, oh, we're living... How to make this long story not long. Um, both of my parents died and I got the house. And so we're living in my parents' house. However... I don't like it here. I don't want to live here. I have a lot of, my dad, trigger warning, just in case. I, I don't know. I'm not going to go into details, but uh, my dad died when I was young, when I was 12, and he had cancer. So a lot of my memory, my childhood memories from this home are that. <clears throat> so I have negative associations with kind of everywhere in this house. Um, and so we were going to move, but now we can't. We basically were stuck here for various reasons. Um, and <clears throat> so we, I hadn't really decorated anywhere because we were going to try to sell and move. And now that is not possible so we are, this is it. This is where we are. We're going to, this is our, this is it, folks. So I am now kind of going room by room and trying to decorate and make it our, our own as much as I can. So this is going to go in the bathroom. So that's why there's a lot of talk of the bathroom. And obviously it's, it's just going to be up for Yule. Um, I don't, I don't do Christmas. This is a very, very not really, this is a, a pattern that you wouldn't necessarily think I would choose. Um, but like I said before, our, our bathroom is turning into like a goth Victorian vintage 
70s room. It's it's its own style. It's a thing. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes. So I'm stitching this for, to go up for Yule in our bathroom. Obviously not this Yule. <clears throat> but eventually, hopefully, I will have it. Okay, so next is, is, is my treasures. So a lot of people call it haul. I think I called it haul in my last video just so people would know what I was talking about. However, I call them, I call it my hoard. <laughs> I think, um, was it Wicked Cat, Stit, Cat Stitch? Said she calls it her hoard. There was someone else that called it a hoard and I was like, yes, that because I do, because it's, my, they're my treasures. So when I, when I purchase things, they're my treasures and then they go into my hoard. So uh, these are treasures that I, that I, that I purchased. Um, they're not all from <laughs> last week. Some last week I didn't have any paper patterns, um, that I had purchased and I didn't want to go up and get them. And some came, I had ordered a while ago and finally came in some. So it's, it's, it's not all one, one week of, of treasures. Um, but there are kind of a lot. I'm just going to go through them, um, as quickly for you as I can. And I did show you already two, the two, no, I already had, um, I already had the, the Rose Con chart. I showed you the Ineffable Husbands. That's the, that's the new, uh, new treasure from, that's, uh, digital. Um, so the rest are all going to be paper. So the first one is Chubby Fox by Jeanette Douglas Designs. I'm not going to stitch a year on it. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do the years. Um, but he's adorable. And he's a cute little guy. And I love fall. I love foxes. I love fall. I love woods and all the things. So he was, he's cute. The next is Who's There by the Prairie Schooler. I love the owls, y'all. Everything about this piece, love. <clears throat> okay. This is Seasonal Courier Cardinals Winter by uh, Robin... Pickens. Robin Pickens. I don't know why I couldn't say that. I also had the spring. I don't have paper charts of them, but I have the spring and the fall with the raven. I love cardinals. Not for the reason that a lot of people love cardinals. I just love cardinals. Um, and again, like the, just, just screamed Yule to me. The Yule tree with the with the pine cone and the, oh, love it <clears throat> this one is for art bedroom <clears throat> excuse me I just almost dropped all the patterns onto the floor this one is for our bedroom our bedroom is 70s goth again it's, it's a, it's a thing. It's a vibe. This is Mellow Yellow by the Artsy Housewife. And that's going to be for our bedroom. Which is where I'm sitting. That's where I stitch and do all this stuff. Um, doesn't really look like it from behind, but it's, again, it's a process. I'm just starting to, to decorate and things. So it is turning into a 70s goth. This is Twisted Pumpkin by Carriage House Samplings. Love this piece. Love the bats. The bats hanging in the tree. Oh, love it. I kind of just want to start all of these. I don't know. 
I don't know when I will start them. I do have, I will do another video probably later today, honestly. Oh, I didn't even say what today was. Today's uh, Monday, April 15th, tax day, if you're in the U.S. So go mail your taxes. Um, but I'll probably do another, like, a, a floss tube extra because I have all of my mania starts picked and kitted and ready in their own separate box so I don't start them. But I want to show you all what I'm going to start for mania because that's, that's coming, that's a couple weeks. It's almost May, y'all. Can you believe that? It's It should still be. It, it just, it's basically 2025. Let's just, let's just admit that. Um, I got Sweather Wetter, Winter Pinecone by Robin Pickens. Again, just such Yule vibes for me. Um, and I do a vintage Yule as far as decorations. Most of the decorations, I do a vintage Yule, like our tree is a silver tree with um like 40s 50s reproduction they're not originals uh like teal pink green gold like those sort of color ornaments so i love that the next are all from bad stitch i kind of went on a bad stitch thing they they are now and you can purchase patterns on their kofi shop but then you can also they're now at one two three stitch and you can get the paper patterns and i just love the paper patterns for smaller patterns like this um the bat that i finished that i showed you a couple uh i think in my first second floss tube last week i think i showed you the bat that was from bat stitch so this is a study in bats love it I like bats, if you couldn't tell. Protector of the dead. Look at it's a turtle with a graveyard on it. Like, what? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, catching bats. <laughs> that was adorable. <laughs> uh -huh. Love it. Current uh, Crescent moon and bat. I think I'm just going to sit just on a black. So the colors really pop on it. Um, and then this is Winterly to some triangle ornaments. Again, that I got for Yule. Because I'm going to change the red, I think, to more of a pink. So it matches our um, vintage style. This is Robin. Apparently, I like Robin Pickens. I didn't even realize all these were from, the, from there. So I'm going to change the red to more of a pink to match the vintage vibes we have going. Um, and then I'm gonna stitch these for our Yule tree. Maybe not all of them. Definitely the two on the bottom. I don't really like hearts, so probably won't stitch this one. But I'm gonna do these two, definitely. Probably this one as well, I love that one. This one is Edgar Allan Poe Tree by Tiny Modernist. I'm going to stitch this on a red. I have red Ada that I'm using for one of my mania starts and there's gonna be a ton left over so I'm gonna stitch this on there as well. Love it, look at the details on that. I just want it to really pop. This is Jolly Green by Ink Circles. I just loved all the different color greens. I don't know if I'm going to keep it green or change it kind of to more match our style. Maybe purples. I don't know. Oranges. That would look good in our um, 70s bedroom. 70s goth bedroom. Maybe change the green slightly so they're more like olive-y. 70s green I don't know but I just loved this pattern so I got it this is too much in lace by ink circles trying to get least amount of glare on there 
Love it. I think I'm saying that for everything. This is, obviously, or I wouldn't have bought it. This is Winter Woods by Sumatra Street. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Satsuma Street. So this, again, reminded me of Yule. <clears throat> I don't know about this one. Hold on. I don't want my other patterns to fall down. So I'm definitely going to stitch the fox. I think I'm going to do them separately. So I'm definitely going to stitch the fox. Because, again, I love foxes in the, the Yule tree. And then the owl with the mushrooms is an absolute must. And then the deer and the polar bear. I don't know. I don't know if I'll stitch those. But the owl and the fox are absolutely going to happen. I'll probably do them, like I said, separate, just smaller individually. Then I got, these are all from Carolyn Manning designs and I um got Astara shooting star collection I got Astara I've never done anything in this style before but the colors I got Salwin I love Samhain. Samhain, I think, is my favorite. The, the Sabbath that I look forward to the most. So I think this is going to be my first start of these. And then I got my bomb. I love the greens in this one. So that's my, those are all my treasures that will go into my hoard. And I think that's finally all I have to show you. This was a long one. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a, maybe right after this one, I'll just do a another video and put it up later this week to show you. What, what was I going to show you? All the things I have planned for Mania. So for uh, Fandom Stitching Central, you uh and mania there's different options and they posted yesterday sunday they posted the different options you can do one new start in 15 days there were four different options one new start in 15 days i don't know 15 starts in 15 days and 24 new starts in 24 days there was another option i don't remember what it was of course i i chose the 24 and 24 because why wouldn't you so I have 24 new starts kitted up and ready to go. So I'm going to show you what those are going to be. And I will do that and get it up later this week. Um, that's all I have. Thank you for sticking around. If you stuck around this whole time, I appreciate it. Make sure if you like what you see here, you like, you subscribe, you click the little bell button. So you know when I post another video, I do post my floss tubes because as you can see, I stitch a lot in one week. I do post, post my floss tubes once, once a week, every week. Um, I, my, just my brain just went, I have no idea what I was going to say or what I was in the middle of saying. Um, yeah. Thank you for checking out me out again. Thank you for all the new subscribers and everything. It's been wonderful. This is only my third floss tube. So again, I really appreciate your support. Um, happy stitching. We'll see you next time.